Hi guys, welcome to this new video of my channel Joey's Tech in which we'll solve together longest common subsequence using dynamic programming. Before we proceed, make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on any of my videos. Now let's focus on the problem first of LCS. So this is the setup of the solution of the problem of the longest common subsequence. This is the matrix which represents the framework of our solution. We'll fill each cell of this matrix and the last cell over here highlighted in yellow will contain the final solution of the problem. That is the length of the longest common subsequence. As you can see that the first row and first column of the matrix are filled with zeros because they represent the zeroth state. The solution is simply based on one task of comparing each element of the string represented by the vertical axis with uh, each element of the string represented by the horizontal axis. When the match happens, we'll go diagonally opposite because that cell will represent the last optimized solution of this problem. So when D over here matches uh, with uh, T over here, then we go back to this cell and it will represent nothing but the LCS solution of AE and ABC. So when a match uh, doesn't occur, like on this cell, then the solution demands carrying forward the running optimized solution of the LCS problem which is then taken by comparing the cell on the left and the cell at the top. So whichever is maximum, that becomes the value of the current cell. So let's start. So A over here matches A over here. So we go back and the previously optimized solution will obviously be 0. We add 1 to it and it becomes 1. Here, A doesn't match with E, so we follow the same process. We compare A, what, uh, this cell, that means uh, the cell on the left with the cell at the top. So out of 1 and 0, 1 is maximum, so we populate 1 over here. So we populate 1 similarly in all the subsequent cells. Then we come down to the next row. As we can see that uh, between 0 and 1, 1 is again the maximum. So we populate 1 over here. All these cells will be populated with 1 because out of 1 and 1, both are equal. So the maximum is going to be 1. For this row also, every cell will contain 1. Then we'll have 1 over here over here and now we form uh, now we found a match D and D so like I stated earlier we go back to this cell we add one to it we get the value as 2 now the value of this cell will be maximum of this cell and this cell so it will be 2 so Again, this will be 2. So if you check this out, we look at the solution of uh, ABC and uh, ADFH, which is this one, and AEDF and ABCD, which is 2. So this one is bigger and it comes in as the value of the cell. So these are nothing but subproblems. So similarly we populate 2, we populate 1, E matches with E over here. So we get 2 as the solution then uh, this becomes 2 again 
this becomes 2 this becomes 2 this becomes 2 this becomes 1 this becomes 2 this becomes 2 this becomes 2 we get a match over here h with h so we go back here we get 3 and between 2 and 3 maximum is 3 so we get 3 here is as the solution and this is the ling length of the longest common substring I'm sorry the longest common subsequence so every cell of the matrix represents an optimized solution of the sub problem like uh, this cell over here represents the LCS solution of strings a e d f h and a b c d so you will have to keep this in mind that every cell of this matrix is a solution in itself to an lcs problem in itself now we do the backtracking to find out which all letters form the part of our solution we'll start from our last cell over here so if the value in the current cell is uh, being formed from its diagonally opposite cell then uh, that letter becomes the part of uh, our uh, LCS otherwise the execution will uh, move in the direction of the maximum value so here the execution moves in this direction left now as you can see that uh, this 2 is being formed uh, this 3 is being formed from this 2 that means the cell diagonally opposite so h becomes the part of our of our solution now we can move either way over here because this 2 is uh, coming from here or here because both are 2 so we can move in either direction i choose to move upwards so here now I have no choice but to move left so I move left and I can see that this 2 is being formed from this one so D becomes the part of my solution now I move upwards again then I move upwards again now no choice but to move left because out of 0 and 1 1 is maximum so I move towards 1 now this one is derived from this 0 so A becomes the part of our solution now this is the algorithm over here if uh, AI is equivalent to BJ these two represent uh, our string then MIJ which is our matrix uh, equals to MI minus 1 J minus 1 that means the diagonally opposite element plus 1 or else mij equals to maximum of the value at the top and the value at the left the time complexity of this solution is o within braces m n so here we come to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and at the same time learned how to solve the longest common subsequence using dynamic programming give it a thumbs up if you liked it thanks for watching this video till we meet again